welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Well, I'm going to take you back to 1571 today, which is in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 23rd of September 1571, 49-year-old John Jewell, who was Bishop of Salisbury, died at Monkton Farley Manor. Now, I wonder if you've heard of this Tudor clergyman. Possibly not, so I'll give you an overview of his life because he is quite an interesting character. John Jewell was born on the 24th of May, 1522, in Bury Narbour, North Devon. He was one of ten children. He was educated by his maternal uncle, John Bellamy, rector of Hampton, because he showed signs of intelligence. Jewell was a hard-working, conscientious and studious boy, and he went on to study at Merton College, Oxford, under John Pankhurst, later Bishop of Norwich, the man credited with introducing John Jewell to reformist doctrines. He then continued his education at Oxford's Corpus Christi College, from which he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in 1540, followed by a Master's in 1545, after being elected as a Fellow in 1542. He was seen as a friend of the Protestant cause. In 1549, John Jewell met Peter the Martyr, the Italian Reformed theologian, at Oxford, and the two men became close friends, with Jules seeing Peter as a father figure. After obtaining his Bachelor of Divinity, Jules started his career in 1552 as the Vicar of Sunningwell in Berkshire, and also acted as a public orator at Oxford University. It was in this job that he had to compose an epistle to congratulate Queen Mary I on her accession in 1553. Mary the First Accession brought to an end the Protestant reforms of Edward the Sixth's reign and brought trouble for John Jewell. He ended up being expelled from Oxford for not attending the Mass, for preaching heresy and for his friendship with Peter the Martyr. In 1554, he acted as notary at the disputation of Thomas Cranmer and Nicholas Ridley but then, fearing for his life, went on to sign a series of Catholic articles. However, he was still living under suspicion, and so fled to Frankfurt on the continent. In Frankfurt, Jewell did not exactly receive the warmest of welcomes from John Knox and William Whittingham, due to the fact that he'd signed those Catholic articles. He also sided with Richard Cox and the Coxians against Knox and Whittingham. Cox stood up for the prayer book of 1552 service and the teachings of Cranmer, whereas Knox and Whittingham wanted a far more puritanical service and followed the doctrines of John Calvin. Jewell made a public confession to atone for his previous weakness in signing the Catholic articles, but the growing divisions between the Coxians and the Noxians led to him leaving Frankfurt and joining his good friend Peter in Strasbourg. The two men then travelled to Zurich and also Padua. In November 1558, the Catholic Mary I died and Elizabeth I became Queen of England. All of the Protestant exiles knew that it was now safe to return to England and Jewell returned home. In 1559, he confuted the Catholics at the conference held at Westminster after Easter and preached a rousing sermon at St Paul's Cross in November 1559. In this sermon, he outlined 27 doctrines held by the Catholic Church and offered to return to the Catholic Church if anyone could prove the practice of these doctrines in the first 600 years after Jesus Christ's death. When he repeated this challenge in 1560, it was taken up by Henry Cole, former provost of Eton College, and this resulted in Cole being imprisoned in the Tower and Jewell writing his Apology of the Church of England, which was published in 1562 and which is considered by some to form the groundwork for all subsequent controversy the Church of England would have with the Church of Rome. On the 21st of January 1560, Jewell was consecrated as Bishop of Salisbury 
a diocese which was impoverished as a result of Jules' predecessor abusing his role. Jules set about turning things around and encouraged men who showed promise to teach in the church. In the 1560s, a literary and theological battle sprang up between Jewell and Thomas Harding, a man Jewell had known at Oxford, and a man he'd also ejected from his post in Salisbury Cathedral. In 1564, Harding published his Answer, which was followed in 1565 by Jewell's Reply, then Harding's 1566 Confutation, and Jewell's 1567 defence of the apology. In 1571, John Jewell was taken ill while preaching a sermon in Laycock in Wiltshire, and he died on the 23rd of September at Monkton Farley Manor. John Jewell was laid to rest in Salisbury Cathedral. So I hope you found my overview of the life of John Jewell interesting. Uh, I find him a fascinating character and he's not a name that you really hear of. He's not a famous Tudor man. So I just like to bring these lesser known Tudors to you just so you can learn a bit more about them. Thank you for joining me today. You can, of course, join me tomorrow for another Tudor history event. And you can subscribe to this channel by clicking round about there somewhere. You can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live as well. And you can give this video a like. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.